Hello fellow friends, how are you doing? It's been a long time since I released a tutorial so today I decided to make one and I will show you how to run localhost on Windows and we will use for that Apache server we will install it using SAMP on Windows it is dead easy, dead easy in Linux you can do the same thing Although you can install Apache from the terminal with three very simple commands or as I have seen today you can install also XAMPP for Linux or for Mac OS. So let's go now for the Windows. So if you have 32-bit system you have to download the 32-bit version. If you have 64-bit version of uh, Windows you download that version but as I see here we have only 32-bit version okay so you can download one of them as you can see each one of them comes with a different PHP version so I downloaded the latest one because I don't mind a lot about the PHP so you download it you will have an XA or an MSI file it is very easy, just double click it and install XAM. As soon as you do it, you can find the uh, XAM control panel. Alright, let me stop it. And here it is your panel. What you have here? Here it is the Apache server. Here it is my SQL server, FileZilla, Mercury server, which uh, has to do with email and other things, and Tomcat server. In this tutorial we will need only Apache server. So Apache server allows you to access localhost on your computer. So we will start it. It is very easy. You can start it and uh, from right here you see. Okay. So uh, you can open any browser you have. I have opened Mozilla. I have installed on my computer a lot of browsers. So I type localhost and enter okay 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 local host local host here we are so what is this this is the first page that apache is redirecting us why i got here well we go here on this pc and uh, Based on where you installed XAMPP, you will have a folder named XAMPP. Okay, so I have it on the set drive. I think that's the default location. So you go here. And uh, for the Apache server, we need to find a folder named HTD, htdocs. You go here. And here we are. Index.php is that page we can see right in front of our eyes, right here. I'm pressing Alt Tab to go to the previous tab I was, you know, shortcuts from Windows. So I have made an app and I, I have inserted it into a folder named GS App. So this is an HTML website with some back JavaScript. So I have created index HTML here and I will try to access it right now. So localhost slash gs app why gs app because this is the folder i'm into you see and i won't let me press enter it will find index.html you see or you you can type it index.html so this is an an html website which i'm using to access a web server which is not running right now so this uh, uh, this website has no functionality so what will happen if I stop the Apache server I'm stopping it and I'm pressing F5 to reload the page so guess what happens problem loading page you see because I close I close Apache so very very easy to run localhost on Windows using Apache. I want you to remember things like uh, I will start it. Apache is running on port 
uh, on port 7584. You can change that from the config from the config here it has the files and here are the logs okay the logs can say you different errors for example that happened when you try to run something on the server and it went wrong so that's about this tutorial i hope you it you liked it and uh, i will make other tutorial very soon thanks for watching my bros so